at some of the highlights. This was at the 10th. And she talked about, I made some putts. I was out there watching when she made a long putt on the 9th for Birdie, coming off an eagle at the 8th and set her set up, self up beautifully here. And at the 14th, a little long with the second pitch to this point. Yeah, this was one to really keep that momentum going. Wonderful up and down. She won a major like uh, Ronin did. I thought Gabby Ruffles, great to see her, isn't it, for Birdie? Yeah, it's interesting story, Gabby, on that what box. she's been Especially through. It's their very first hole in an LPGA competition. Gabby Ruffles at the 11th. She's saying, what's so hard about being an LPGA member? I mean, Bermuda has given other players fits, even even players who grow up on Bermuda yeah, fits. True. Um, it's kind of like Poana when I go and play on a golf course with Poana greens. I'm never all that comfortable um, where I feel much more comfortable on Bermuda grass is where I grew up and how I learned to play golf uphill and into the grain more so than you would get on, say, a bent course. All right, Celine Boutier rolls in the birdie at 17 with four wins last year. Lilia Vu had four. Gabby Ruffles. Birdie, birdie start. And Gabby, her 2023 Epson Tour season, nothing short of spectacular. Uh, we expected big things from Gabby. Just might have had to wait an extra year to see him. Still expected, don't we? Arnella Lindbergh. Oh, that looks a little like the putt she made to beat Envy Park at Mission Hills on a Monday morning at a playoff. Yeah, I couldn't advance it very far from the bunker, so I was forced to, to lay up here. This was 54 degree away from about 75 yards. All right, here is another drive on champ from just down the road in Fort Myers. A couple of years ago, Leona McGuire. that Tom brought us earlier. Jennifer Cupcho getting her day started. She's way down there off the tee, just a little wedge into this hole. Playing pretty good into the wind and off the left today. I mean, started with a couple birdies. Can we make it three in a row? What a start to her LPGA career. She hasn't been playing golf that long. I mean, less than 10 years. Well, and, and that can happen. You, you, it's that old uh, trying just a little bit too hard causes you to, to get a little bit more tension in those hands sometimes. And she was putting from a great spot on the green. There was very little movement to that. And there's not many greens on this golf course. You can say being hole high is the best place to putt from. Getting her round started, Leona McGuire. Nice. And a good start. There you can see how it just kept going. Megan Kang at 18. And this one being downwind from 138. Really difficult to see the flag on the green. Oh, my. She's going to be happy when she gets up there <laughs> and can have a good glimpse at it. Good, good chance to see Nellie Corda here finishing at 18. And this from 134. Just a wedge for Nellie. She can dial in the speed here. She should have learned something from Lilia on a similar line. This doesn't look like it has as much speed. I think she learned a lot. Get in. How about this? <laughs> Sophomore year's off to a pretty good start. I think what we've seen from Lydia is her focusing a little bit less on technique and a little bit more on her natural artistry. Oh, my. Look at this. Right in the middle. She can ha she can go bogey bogey and then birdie the next six. Yeah. Over the 18th, the adjacent par four, Nelly for 64. She's made quite a few long putts today, including the last hole. That one looked like a bit of a misread, though. Yeah. But she had a lot of great putts today. She had a lot of support out there. Tremendous following, being. Hometown girl. She's so excited about playing in front of her 
fans and her family. I'm so happy they're playing for 160 million. And you know what? They deserve it. You know, they're great players. Well, they stand on the shoulders of a lot of greats, including you, Hollis Stacy. Well, thank you. Up ahead to the 11th after that long birdie putt. Hit on you. Floridian Lexi Thompson. Well, no problem with that palm tree on the left. Back into the wind. Uh, I think not. No problem at all. You heard a moment ago, Karen watching this group. Here's Brooke. She did not get as fortunate with her tee shot. She was in a little bit of trouble, so I could really only advance to the front of the green, but played a lovely little chip there. It clearly is working. That'll be a tap in par for Brooke. Amy Yang, the third member of that group. And another member of our group is Tom Abbott. Now he's got good history here, having qualified for a couple of U.S. Women's Opens on this golf course. Lilia Vu had a three-putt bogey at the 10th. Oh. oh that was a good-looking roll. Gosh. The birdie that we saw from Gabby Ruffles a couple groups before was only the third birdie of the day on this 11th hole. Definitely got some of the kinks out. This one's a little bit left of the flag, but I think this is a good spot. Anything under par would have to be considered good today, wouldn't it, Morgan? Yeah, the golf course is playing tough today, mostly with the winds, the wind and the greens. How did that not go in? But playing more than half a stroke over par. And, you know, it's a long week. It's the first of four days and it's about putting yourself in position yeah, job number one get it on the putting surface oh is that what, what a putt that was spectacular that was just marvelous and use the creativity not use a wedge there what she felt comfortable with in the moment the putter and just perfection Gabby Ruffles at the par three, 15th. Yeah, trying to hold something up against this slightly left to right wind here from being out in the elements, especially the wind all day long. Will be interesting how that happens today as well. Yeah, it makes putting, it makes putting definitely a challenge. You have to incorporate the grain, the speed, and the wind direction when you're reading your greens. She has this internal fight, Marina, that I think is what really propelled her to the top of the game. Absolutely, and I know this is probably not the start of the round that she has wanted today, but I, I wouldn't put it past her to fire some birdies here coming down these next few holes as they're a little bit more gettable. Began her day in rookie season with back-to-back -back birdies. This is a putt for another. Really nice stroke there, very solid. On the 17th hole, good day for her. This is at the 18th to save her par. She was never inside the top 10 last year in her rookie season after any round. At the moment, she's tied for fourth. Wasn't pleased with her drive. That's from 163. Yeah, still an okay leave. She'll have about 25 feet for her birdie. The most annoying. Really good contact from that lie. That was right at it. Yeah, oh, that's an unbelievable shot. golf shot. And nobody controls the ball better. To 12 in Henderson. She had the uphill putt here.
placement on these greens is so important. They have a tremendous amount of undulation and it's important to play smart. Play to the proper side of the hole. Seems like some of the players are struggling a bit with the pace, both uphill and downhill. I mean, there's some severity to these greens, so it's tricky to get your speeds right when you go from down to up and down to up and back and forth. But Lydia has a really nice look here coming up. Playing for a little bit of right to left break, judging by where her putter is lined up. Actually, a different line than where the golf yeah, ball is set up. just did not turn. That was a good stroke. The next win for Lydia Ko will put her in the LPGA Hall of Fame. Rarified air. Par 3 15th is where we find Jennifer Cupcho. We'll watch this tee shot with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Got a very aggressive line. What a shot. She set up very square to this one. Aiming right at the flag, maybe a little bit of wind, draw it. Yeah, off that's that. a really great golf shot there. It's about as good as you're going to do with this pin placement and the wind direction. You need to give yourself better looks than that from 59 yards. Oh, she tried. Just a couple of hours away from Lake Nona, Oregon, but what, about 25 degrees warmer than it was last week? Her wet shot in here close. This has been a brutal hole today, playing as the hardest hole on this golf course. Use a Especially with that slope there. And this one is going to be a little bit uphill, but it has a bit of movement to the right. Lexi's going to play in the match coming up. Rory McIlroy, Max Homa, and Rose Zhang coming up in just a few weeks. That'll be fun. Of course, you will call. She played against the guys on the PGA Tour in Vegas last year. Saw the great tee shot at the par 3 15th from Jennifer Cupcho. This is for birdie. And did not make it. This one moving a little left to right. And it looks like she's read it perfectly. And great speed from Lydia Ko, which we saw so much of last week. So well, this is a party yet. Yeah, this would erase the mistakes. Nobody's gotten up and down from a bunker yet on this hole. It's a great save. Hopefully propeller in the right direction here for these last um, few holes on the back nine. Mel did a little bit of studio work she last did. year during the U.S. Women's Open at Pebble Beach. She's a natural. Miked up at the Lotte Championship last April. Just kind of ignore those miscues. I mean, I know a lot of players don't even watch uh, what their playing competitors are doing, which sometimes is a favorite, but the wind is very strong here. Heron's ball is definitely past the pin. And no surprises, that was right of the flag. Yes, that is the <laughs> safe play. Gabby Ruffles beginning her first birdied her first two holes. She's dropped a shot since. This for Eagle. And Gabby Ruffles moves into a tie for fourth. From her reaction, she was delighted with that shot. Amy Yang at 14. And that was from 162. Wind off the right. Oh, what a beauty. Held it up nicely. You can see Lauren Coughlin. This is her ninth hole of the day. Said her number one goal this year is winning and uh, maybe 1A make the Solheim Cup team. This shot is not going to be uh, having to deal with that palm tree. It could have been very close to being right behind the palm tree. And oh my goodness, this looks just perfect from Lydia Ko. I mean, time and time again. You see her use that magic. They're probably a bit more favorable than they are right now, but um, 
the key to a day like today is just patience and, and committing to the shots that you're hitting. Some are going to turn out to be great results and some are not, and that's just the way that it goes on a windy day. It's going to be good to just get a nice solid par moving into the next hole. Nice job by both of you as we take you to 15 and Lexi. This downwind par three, 170. That's Another a good one that lands softly, her. Karen. Ninth hole of the day for Gabby Ruffles. This is for birdie. Yeah, we saw that last week too at Lake Nona, the golf course softer than it had been in previous years. Just an unusual winter here in the entire state of Florida. And if these greens were these greens were really firm this in this wind it would be an unbelievable test of golf this is an interesting golf course tom it's given up five triples or worse you don't see that very often but it's the diabolical edges around some of these green not a lot of break and incredibly still without a victory for all of the top tens and time she's contended Talked about she you Lynn Morgan you'd have to put hedging up there. Would you not? Absolutely. I'm mean, gonna think about Talk about rookie seasons. She had a spectacular rookie season yeah, the motivation for her with the, the Solheim Cup and and trying to get her game back into Into good order and I think we're gonna see much of the same with her this year when you think about another Solheim Cup on the horizon Mm -hmm. um, she has represented America at the Olympic Games. I think that's going to be something that she's going to try to achieve as well. Lilia making four. Eight on you made a very good up and down, having missed the green. And Lilia just did not give that one enough mustard. What's the, what's the appropriate amount of mustard there, Tom? Well, it depends. And if it's a hot dog, I think you've got to cover it. You've got to cover it in the mustard. Take away the taste. <laughs> I really love watching Maya. I love her body language. I love she lets us into her emotions. She's got a fiery personality. Definitely a big current and future star. No trouble can clear those. No issue. Something center of the green, Karen. Oh, and this is a clean strike fading towards the hole. This is very good. Oh, nearly perfect. Oh, so absolutely sensational. Blowing quite hard from left to right. Flag on the left side as well. Quite hard to get close unless you're Lexi Thompson. This one's fading the away little... from the hole. And she hits a little bit of a pull fade, so wouldn't expect her to get too aggressive. Not a ton of break in this putt. Barely straight, just about getting the speed right. And not enough mustard. No. So she moves to two under. The front nine playing a little bit easier than the back. Brittany and get up and down here at the 12th. Keep this great streak going. Yeah, that's a tough area there left of 12. So a, a lot of players had ended up there in practice taking some in those collection areas everybody collects really down there but that was well done you get some squirrely lies left of 12 there hang in there okay three unders tied for fourth Yeah. The various uh, nations that are represented in the field here. It's quite difficult to pick out that flag, so not easy to visualize the shot.
Lilly, the fourth American 